Hey guys, welcome to Cook with Nancy. If you're new to my channel or you haven't subscribed already, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button right now. Today we're going to make jewel rice with lamb meatball and cucumber raita. This is a very special and unique dish that we make for the guests who come over and you want to treat them with something special. So let's get started with the ingredients. One tablespoon coriander powder, one tablespoon cumin powder. Just saute it on medium high heat for a couple of minutes. I would say three to four minutes till nice aroma releases and transfer into a big bowl. Now I have one pound of ground lamb, three cloves of garlic finely chopped, three tablespoon Korean, three tablespoon mint leaves finely chopped, three tablespoon coriander leaves finely chopped. 1 tablespoon soy sauce, but I'm using coconut aminos, pepper as needed, salt as needed. I have half a cup of finely chopped onions. Now combine them well and make a soft dough out of the lamb mixture. Now I'm making a golf size ball out of the mixture. Continue to do this with the rest remaining mixture that you have and once it is done, Heat your skillet with 2 tablespoon oil, any cooking oil, I'm using coconut oil. I love to use coconut oil in all my cooking. Now, turn your heat to medium high and place the meatballs in the oil. You do not want to burn them but you want deep brown color, that's what gives the flavor. So turn the meat all sides and brown them all sides. Meanwhile. Preheat your oven at 380 degrees and also keep your cookie sheet ready. We are going to transfer the meatballs once it browned all sides. Now as you see it's nicely browned. I'm going to transfer this into the cookie sheet. So place it in the oven and cook for 5 to 8 minutes. Do not overcook it. Now I'm bringing 2 cups of vegetable broth to a boil and set aside. In a skillet, I'm adding 2.5 tablespoon butter, unsalted. I have 1 cup of finely chopped onions. Saute these onions until they are just translucent. Now I'm adding garlic, that is 4 cloves of garlic finely chopped. Just saute them until they are just Done. They're translucent, soft, but not browned. We do not want to brown this uh, onions for this recipe. Now I'm adding one teaspoon turmeric powder, half a teaspoon cumin powder, pinch of white pepper, half inch cinnamon stick, and two big pinch of ground ginger. Now saute them well together so that the onions and the spices get mixed well. Now look at the color, this is what we are looking for. This is what is going to give that beautiful color to the rice. Now I have washed one cup of rice. Do not soak the rice, you just have to wash them just before adding the rice into the pan. Now gently toss the rice into the onion mixture. Make sure you do not break the grains and also we have to roast them for 4 minutes on medium low heat. Now you, as you can see the rice looks nice and roasted. Now I will add the broth that we have boiled and it still needs to be hot. If it is not then you make sure you reheat them before adding the broth into the rice. This is very important step. We have to make sure the broth is boiling hot. Now bring the rice to a boil. Just give it a quick stir and cover it up till the rice is done. Now the rice is done, there's very little moist that is left because I want to add the carrot and then let the carrot just cook in the moist that we have. I have one cup of carrot that's finely chopped. Mix it well and add the cilantro. Now you can turn off the heat and let it sit for 10 minutes at least so that the carrots get soft. Now transfer into a serving plate, garnish with some pomegranate seed. I am using frozen pomegranate but if you can get fresh, go ahead and use that and some cilantro. 
Now I'm going to add the meatballs on top of this rice and I also prepared the raita. You need grated cucumber, yogurt, cumin powder and salt. Combine them together and just serve it on top of the meatball. I hope you enjoyed watching this recipe. If you like my channel, please do subscribe, leave a comment below and likes. I will see you soon in my next video. Till then, take care guys. Bye bye.